So, just one last question, because um, I don't want this video to go on forever. We will make another one with all the uh, the, the misconceptions, misconceptions yep. um, yeah, and the uh, the urban myths. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, but one big one that comes up all the time is, you know, if you haven't got an AFO, your property is going to get knocked down. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but overall, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. But probably it's not going to get knocked down, at least not overnight. Um, there are some cases, and they are slowly growing where some properties are being knocked down uh, but they are for now the exception not the rule um, after six years uh, you're exempt from sanctions and after four years you're exempt from being knocked down um, in the majority of cases not in all yeah uh, and the the junta de andalusia the andalusian council they they are knocking a few more properties down but it tends to be where there's been reports and neighborly disputes that's what tends to escalate to a property being being demolished um, it's not impossible but it's not really very common at all and these are always the ones that make the headlines as well um, yes. more often than not there's there's another story behind the Nearly headlines always those are the yeah. exceptions they're not the rule as i just mentioned before there tends to be other legislation and laws and parties involved there that mean that those properties get demolished okay. that's not usual that's great so uh, as we said you know, if someone's thinking you're moving in you know, three to five years time get in touch now we Definitely. can clarify whether you need one don't need one what the situation is um, if, you if you think you might need to move in the next 12 months get in touch today yeah, now because yeah. we can we can uh, you know, our, our experts here can can help with that um, so overall it's not something really to be scared of no. but it's something you need to be aware of absolutely um, and, and just one final thing because I know th this comes up quite a lot um, this isn't just about country Country properties. No, absolutely not. It, it's, as I said at the beginning, it's anything that goes out of the building legislation for that area. That doesn't have to be rural. That can be in the town as well. As just in as a quick example, if you have a, a street and the building legislation or planning, the zoning for that area is that all of the houses on that street can have two floors and your house, you've put an extra floor on and it's three floors, although it might not have been sanctioned, you're not going to get it knocked down. Technically, you would need to do an AFO on that property. Otherwise, um, by the law, you don't have the right to be connected to mains water and mains electric. Okay. So, uh, lots to think about. Um, lots to think about. We will do another video for anyone about the urban myths, but please, if you've got any questions at all about AFOs, DAFOs, SAFOs, AFOBIA, yeah. um, please just uh, put them down in the comments. Um, if you would prefer to keep things anonymous, just send us a private message and we'll be happy to help. So, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Amy, for your ever helpful advice. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.